Welcome to Body Science Lab, 100% hands on science is cool. Today our topic is is as a unit uh, but our main focus is the length last time we talked about as a unit especially the seventh fundamental quantity of as a unit and today our student is what's your name excuse me do not sleep in the school all right mm -hmm. this is 100 percent hands-on school don't sleep in this is school uh what is uh what is land land is the distance or the separation between two Point. Very good, that's impressive. That's what we learned last time. So, what is the SI unit for land? Uh, meters. Very nice. Meter is the SI unit for land. What is yeah. the SI unit for height? Uh, liters. Still meters. Oh, okay. What is the SI unit for width? Uh, Newtons. Still meters. And what would be the SI unit for surface area? Uh, meters. Meter square. Oh. Because you need land and you need width. Mm. You need length and you need width. Meter times meter. Now, mm. surface area is as good as it is, but you can do something better. You can do volume. Mm. Mm. All right? So 1D to 2D to 3D. So if the 1D is meter, 2D is meter squared, 3D is? Meter. I thought you were a genius. Mm. 1D is meter, 2D is square meter, 3D is? Square meter. Mm. 1D is meter, 2D is square meter, square meter, 3D is cubic meter. Good. You have to find the volume three different ways and help me understand the definition of volume. The definition of volume. Okay, okay using the language you learn through the activities. First, you want to find it by ruler. Second, you want to find it by scale. And the third, you want to find it by inserting, uh, submerging it inside the water. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Okay, so first I'm gonna use the traditional way, right? Yes. So do you wanna hold it up? Yeah, absolutely. I can help. Okay. So I'm gonna take the ruler, use the centimeter, and this is 8.5 centimeter. That's gonna be my length. That the width is well, also 8.5 centimeter. I just okay. need the height, right? Okay. So let's see how many centimeters the height is. 8.5 centimeters. Okay. okay. So let's see. My volume is going to be length times width times height. 8.5 times 8.5 times 8.5. Wow, I got 640 cubic. Three days later. Give me 6.4 times 10 to the negative 4 cubic meters. All right, very good. So you have to show me this by using the the scale. All okay. right, good luck. Okay. I can so, hold it. Let's see. I have to show the volume. Volume, yes. Volume that it is uh, six. Um, 6.4 times 10 raised to negative 4 cubic meter. The scale cannot measure volume. Well, the scale can measure the mass. And then you use the one of the equation that volume is equal to something over something. Okay, hang on. Let me try. At least I'll, I can try. So I'll, I'll put the box here. And let me put it down. Just turn it on. Okay. And wow, this is a, this is a pretty heavy box. It's, 640 grams so uh whoops yeah six grams six grams wow that's the uh, that's the mass of the box is okay. that right yeah sure okay so the box i don't want mass i want the volume, volume. yes so you can calculate but you need mass okay so let me go ahead and write down what i think by the way the you you need mass not in gram you need mass in kilogram Oh yeah. Okay. All right. So I know the equation. Density is equal to mass over volume, and I just found out my mass was six grams, but I have to convert it. Seventy-five years later. Oh my God! We are almost there. Cubic meters, isn't that what I got before? Right, very nice. 
Okay, now uh, you're not done yet, so you have to use these, uh, this cube and uh, submerge this cube into the water in uh, measure the displaced displaced water by this one. This uh, has a millilit milliliter uh, mark, and with that you should be able to find the volume. Good luck. Ready? So three, two, one. All right. And boom, the cube is displaced. Okay, so let's find out how much water just got displaced. Okay, in my cube, and let's see how, how much water that comes out to. Okay, so this this uh, tube measures the water in milliliters. Okay. So let's see how much I end up getting. Wait, so 640 milliliters, you convert that to cubic meter, you're gonna get six times 10 to the minus four cubic meter. Yeah, we got 640 wow. milliliters, 640 cubic centimeters. That's right. And 640 cubic centimeter is equal to 6.4 times 10 raised to negative four meter. cubic meter. Right. And that's a unit for length a uh, volume is cubic meter so what is the SI unit for length meter what is the SI unit for area square meter and what is the SI unit for volume cubic meter and what is the SI unit for hyper volume quadruple volume to the four why is it because you have one more dimension you have four very dimensions. nice so this student had no one this is student in the beginning of the class i found this student sniping now at the end this student is super engaged he not only understood the definition of volume and was able to use the correct as a unit for the volume but also was able to uh understand the volume using three different hand hands on by using the ruler by using the the scale and also by submerging the cube inside the water that allow him to calculate the volume and he found exactly the same volume all three ways thank you for watching